All right, you lot, don't forget to give us a follow on Apple Podcasts or Spotify. And while you're at it, give us a five-star rating. Trust me, it really does help us out. I think let's briefly talk about just... Just got to congratulate Max at the end of the day. He's just won. 100%. Yeah. He's just become a two-time world champion. And I think, I was saying this earlier, I, I feel like even with the Ferrari strategy mistakes, I still think that that package of Verstappen and Red Bull over the course of the season has just been like scary, scary good. Not not completely dominant, but like dominant enough mm. for this to be a pretty, you know, deserved championship, I, I'd say. Yeah. 100%. I think it's, it's a deserved championship on track. Considering the situation he was in, if we're looking back at Australia, he was how many points down? He was saying himself, look, I'm out of this title race at this moment. I'm just trying to get points. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. And stringing results together, getting uh, getting these wins. And the, the way, the manner he's winning them as well. Even today, how many seconds did he win by? He was half a minute ahead in the end. It's, 40 sec- it's a 40 minute race. Yeah. Why, are you, why are you ahead by that much? <laughs> Such a, yeah. it's it's a, and you've got Perez struggling to get past Leclerc. It, it's... it's it's just shown that it's kind of up to level. Yeah. Mm. What we've seen from Max last year, we're just seeing growth race by race in terms of his actual speed as well. And he's learning how to manage tires, he's learning strategy. And it's, it's a scary prospect for Formula One now because we've got somebody that's quite young, but has the experience of somebody that's this is about his 33. Eighth yeah. season in Formula Unbelievable. One. Unbelievable. Which is absolutely 25, right? Or 24? 25. 25. 25. Just turned 25. <laughs> It's Eight seasons of F1 at 25 is absolutely ridiculous. It's a joke. It's an absolute <laughs> joke. Yeah, no, he definitely fully deserved the title this year. I, Although I do think, I don't know, I think if Ferrari, like if everything went according to plan, if everything that, you know, say the strategies were right um, and the no mistakes, I think we're looking at Charles Leclerc being the world champion this year. Do you still think? Yeah. Really? When I think about it, yeah. Because let's look at it like this. How many points do you think Ferrari have thrown away this year? I, I think when it, when we from a strategy slash Leclerc been in slash, it, yeah. Yeah. Um, point of view, I think well, what that gap's now one hundred and thirty. The gap's one hundred and thirty right? or something like that. I yeah. think it's, I think that that's gap's five, that's down five at like forty points. <coughs> I reckon but, we're, we're going but, to the wide. But bear in mind, yeah, yeah I think we're, we're we going. Well, I think wide. we're going the length, but I still think Max wins. We're going the length, but also if Leclerc is gaining points, Max doesn't necessarily have those same points. So you've got to bear in mind, like, swing, it's it? a swing. So, yeah, in, in, so in my head, I'm like, do you know what? When you actually think about it, they should have won the title this year. The, the problem for Ferrari, like the great quality car, but I just think in race, that Red Bull's looked really good everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas Ferrari's had its tracks where, you know, your Zanville, a bit more tight and twisty, high downforce seems mm. to work well because um, the Red Bull's quite hard on its tyres because it generates so much downforce. Yeah. I think with Max as well, He's been in a title race against Lewis Hamilton. Yep. He's got that experience. This is Charles' first title charge. You can tell. And he's, of course, he's going to make these mistakes. Yeah. Even today, he made a little mistake. Max doesn't make those mistakes anymore. It's quite minimal. Mm. And you kind of have to be like that. You have to be on point when it comes to a championship. Obviously, yeah. Ferrari have had their issues, engines blowing up, strategy, so on and so on. But I feel like that skill factor, that experience factor will still come into play. Yeah. But... And I feel like Max has gone on leaps and bounds. But I think I think Charles will learn a lot from this season. Hundred percent, yeah, for sure, massively. Yeah. He'll be a better sure. driver for it. If Ferrari can bring out a car like they did this year, next season, then yeah, it's on. Yeah, like it's definitely on. And with everything that Charles has learned, because there's some battle scars he's got this year, mm. where he's going to be like, right, never again. Yeah. Well, we know that Charles can hang oh, with Max, yeah. like oh, God, Silverstone, yeah. Austria like years back we're like we, we, we've seen them two race wheel to wheel and yeah, like yeah, yeah. give each other the room and mm-hmm. sometimes yeah. ones I, I just think yeah Max has got that which again he's got more experience than Charles he's been in the sport longer he's, he's got that he's that slightly more well-rounded complete like I, I think when you also acknowledge the fact that well what Max did in terms of how early he started isn't allowed anymore yeah. because that's the whole reason the super license <laughs> point yeah. like, mm. the age was changed he didn't have a, even have a driving license like I think as things go in and as good as Red Bull were looking, like it, we could be on for, you know, in terms of world titles. I mean, he's got two now. But here's the thing. Like, don't, don't, don't forget about Mercedes because like they've had a bad year this year by their yes. standards. Yeah. But I think they're, they are, <clears throat> I think they are one problem solved away from mm. being back to the Mercedes we have got used to. Yeah. Personally speaking. And then you've got Hamilton in that car. And then you've got Russell in that car. I mean, we could be looking at something crazy for the next three, four years where Lewis, Charles, Max, 
that potentially George like there are people where you're looking at this thinking hang on a minute we've got we've got a real triple threat on our hands at least well because the cost cap combined with the slide and development scale mm. should hopefully stop dominance yeah that, that's kind mm. of what it's yeah. Yeah. yeah Red Bull dominated this year they get less time next year exactly <laughs> and you look at the dominant period from Ferrari in the early 2000s and you know Red Bull with Vettel and, and Mercedes, Mercedes with Lewis yeah. and like yeah. that shouldn't I, I think we've got enough top quality and you look yeah. at the drivers coming through as well I think like, so the, the quality is there mm -hmm. and I think okay. hopefully that's that's the idea right because I, I think I've seen a bit of criticism of, of the new regulations but this is their very first year yeah mm -hmm. exactly well, like, the not criticism a, is I mad I can't lie I think it's not a, I actually think it's not a good job for racing well like we've, we, I think we've had a lot more. When I was watching the Q1 field spread, yeah, right, the whole field spread was like two seconds. Mm. Yeah, which before which is somebody's brilliant. lagging behind. But it used to be like six, oh, yeah. seven, eight, like back in the HRT yeah. eight room days. Like it was. I honestly, the, I, I'm going to open a can of worms here. But the most, <laughs> most uh, overrated sort of era, low key, is that like late nineties into early thousands. Mm. <clears throat> well, don't get it twisted all the cars looked amazing yeah all the deliveries were class mm. and you did have some classic moments but some of the field spreads in like the late mm. 90s were nuts no man. yeah it was crazy it was just yeah, Minardi's uh, like eight <laughs> seconds yeah. away from everyone else bro it's it's mad. Uh, Mika Hakkinen just long mm. gone yeah. yeah like I feel like now you have a you have like a genuinely quite compact and sure like racing is difficult like if we didn't have DRS like we would not get many overtakes sure, sure. That, that's sure. the sport now I think they've done a decent job, to be honest, to bring the overall, the overall field together, even if we've not yeah. had as many crazy races as last yeah, year. Cause but last year was just a ridiculous season. I, I mean, a big ra mm. reason the cars aren't as raceable is because they're bigger, but that's because they're safer. Like you need, yeah. you have physically more car around you, you have the halo. So I think it is a, I think there's still, like I, I'm feeling quite optimistic about mm. th this new generation as much as the FIA are doing their best to <laughs> yeah. shit on it oh, that's what God. it is yeah, yeah. I think that I, th I think that we're in a good kind of place going forward